before you start doing the actual doodles, you want to prep your image. Okay, so you need to pay, uh, you need to prep the base image. And um, what you're going to do is raw process the image. Okay, so you're going to see that there's a JPEG and there's a, a CR2 file, right? Uh, you want to open the CR2 file. We're not worrying too much about temperature and tint because this is going to be a black and white image. So what you want to do is look and see if maybe you need to adjust the exposure at all. Um, I think that's pretty good. It's, there's enough brightness on the face. I don't want to really adjust it. Maybe add a little more contrast just to make it a little more dramatic. Um, you could adjust the shadows, kind of move it up, move it down, and see what looks better for your image. I don't really think I need to do anything on shadows. Um, you could adjust the whiteness, which would make it a, tid, a tad bit brighter. I don't, you know, maybe I will uh, just a little bit, but not much. Um, I could bring the black down, and it'll make it just a little darker. I could reduce the texture. I want to slightly reduce the texture. What that's going to do is going to add a softness to the image. And I'm also going to reduce let's see, the clarity a little bit so that it ha also adds a little bit of a softness to the image. Or you could, you know, increase the clarity. Now, if someone has like a lot of acne, I recommend you reduce the clarity and it helps to kind of soften that acne. Um, and then maybe dehaze the image just a little bit, maybe like up a little bit, not too much. Um, if you go too far, then it gets too dark. So just maybe a little bit of a just slight dehaze. Um, don't worry about vibrance or saturation. And then you're going to go ahead and click on open image. And we can see kind of the finished image in the background there. So what we're going to be doing with this is we're going to be burning and dodging first. Okay, so maybe filling in some shadows where maybe it might be nice to. Uh, and then we're going to duplicate that burn and dodge layer and we're going to do some retouching to remove maybe some acne or, you know, maybe some stray hair or maybe darken the background a little bit. Um, actually, that will be done with the color fill. Um, or if you see like lint or something on the background that you need to remove. And then you have the option of adding a gobo effect and I'll explain how that's going to work. And then we're going to add a color fill um to the image as well which is going to darken the background and give us a nice canvas to put our doodles in okay so let's go back to this image here so we're going to go ahead and duplicate that layer the first thing we're going to do is burn and dodge okay what i recommend you do then is come over here to our burn and dodge tool I'm going to burn in some of the cheek area here and just kind of make the shadow completely all over here in one area. So I'm going to make sure that I have shadows selected um, at like maybe 50% opacity here. I'm just going to kind of also by the mouth a little bit so that we only see the left side of the mouth. Um, Maybe a little bit here in the chin area. Uh, no, actually, I don't like that. So I'm going to undo that. Okay. Um, I might burn just a little bit under the neck here, but maybe what I'll do is I'll reduce my exposure so it's a little more subtle to about 15%, just a little bit here under the neck. Just to add a little more definition here. Um, Okay, so then if we turn off the burn and dodge, we can see that. It looks pretty good. Now what I want to do is I want to dodge the eyes a little bit. So I'm going to go to dodge, and I'm going to do um, a control plus so I can zoom in on my image a little better here. Um, I'm going to make my brush very small so I can either do it here 
or I can do use the bracket key. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to dodge the eyes a little bit just to make them a little brighter here. But I am also going to back out and just check that to make sure it looks natural and then zoom back in again. I'm just I'm dodging the whites of the eyes a little bit here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm also going to lighten I'm going to dodge the iris a little bit here and just kind of lighten the eyes slightly. And then I'm going to back out control minus and check that to make sure it, look, sure it looks good. We can turn off the dodge and burn and we can see that. We can see that we lighten the eyes a little bit just to kind of bring uh, more detail into the eyes. And I'm going to do a control plus on the keyboard, control plus on the keyboard to get um, in closer again. And then I'm going to do control minus and I'm just going to look and see if there's like anything else I need to retouch. I'm sorry, uh, anything else I need to dodge and burn. All right, so it looks pretty good. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate the dodge and burn layer. And I'm going to call it retouch. And I'm just going to do control plus on the keyboard. And I'm going to see if there's like any areas where I want to retouch starting at the top corner. Don't see anything. I'm going to use my navigator here. So if I go to window and open navigator, um, I can kind of zoom around my image. I don't see anything in the corner. I'm going to come over here to the middle of the image, um, move it over to the face here. Um, I'm going to like retouch a very small brush and I'm just going to remove some of the, looks like he's got like a little bit of like hangnails going on here. I'm going to get rid of that. Um, here a little bit, just get rid of that on the nails. Um, I'm going to retouch that little eye area. Um, and I'm going to clean up I'm going to clean up this eye area right now, and I'm going to yeah, and maybe clean up the glass square a little bit on the edge of the rim of the glass here. Um, yeah, okay, and now I just. He doesn't have too much acne or anything like that, but you know, I'll just kind of go and maybe clean up a little bit on the skin. Just a couple little areas, maybe just kind of, I'm using the cloning tool, right? You know, the cloning tool here, um, alt, holding down that alt key and just selecting some of the skin nearby and just cleaning up a little bit on the skin here. And all right, I'm just going to back up a little bit and look at this retouch before and after. If we go zoom in a little bit, we'll see that like before and after. We can see a couple areas have been retouched. I'm going to go in a little bit more and retouch this right by the eyeglass here. Just kind of get rid of this a little bit here. Um, Okay. And a little bit by the nose here. And then I'm going to come down and look at the clothes and see if there's like, oh, here's like a little bit here I want to get rid of. Maybe let me see if there's any like little lint pieces on the clothes I want to retouch. They're really tiny. Uh, maybe right here. Get rid of that. Just kind of leave some of that texture there. I like that texture from the jacket. Um, and just kind of move around and see if there's any little lint pieces to take off the clothes. Um, if you feel like you have like some really intense acne to retouch, 
Um, I will show you how to use a patch tool to, to kind of, it's, an, it's another tool that you can use um, if using the cloning tool doesn't work. I'll kind of, I'll show you that at the end of the video if you're interested in um, seeing how to use a patch tool to kind of help blend in a little bit of the, and get rid of some acne. But I'll show that at the end of the, of the video because we want, we want it to look natural. Okay, so here we go. Here's before and after. It looks pretty good. So then the next step, let's go look at our example here, is to um, add in actually a black and white layer. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to come over here and we're going to add in a black and white layer. And we want to adjust the reds, the yellows, the greens, the cyans, the blues, the magentas. Okay, um, so we want his shirt to go kind of dark because we don't want we want to kind of blend. So I'm going to bring it down a little bit. His shirt is red, so I'm able to bring that down a little bit. See if there's any yellow. There's a little bit of yellow in the skin, but I'm just going to keep that as is. Uh, some greens, um, not really impacted by greens. Some cyans, not really doing much. Some blue, bring that down a little bit. And some magenta, nope. Okay. So I really wanted to kind of have his shirt kind of be the same value tone as his jacket. So that helped by bringing the red down. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to potentially add um, a color fill and a gobo, okay, a gobo effect. So what I'm going to do first is add in a black color fill. I'm going to do a solid color of black, okay. And I'm going to click on my layer mask here and make sure I've got black over white. And I've got a nice large brush that's soft. Um, make that brush pretty big here. And I'm going to remove the figure. I want, I want to see the figure, but I'm going to leave everything else black. Um, now... I do want to kind of hide the clothes a little bit. So I'm going to kind of just go a little bit on the edge of the clothes, but I'm going to leave that texture on the jacket. I kind of like that a little bit. So I'll leave that texture there and um, maybe leave a little more texture here by just kind of making a smaller brush and kind of letting that texture show here a little bit on the jacket. Okay, so that's pretty good. We can see before and after. Now what I want to do is I'm going to add a gobo above the retouch layer, okay? So in between the retouch and the black and white layer. So I'm going to go into our file where you're going to have quite a few resources in our shared drive here. You're going to go to shared drives. We're going to go to our doodle portrait retouch video. And you're going to see that there's a bunch of back of different like kind of gobo effects that you can use. And I'm going to click on this one right here and I'm going to open it. Um, and I want to look at my sample. Okay. Um, what I'm going to do is, did I do black there? Yes, I did. Okay. So I'm going to do a select all, select all or control A and edit, copy or control C. And I'm going to come back over here and I'm going to paste it on control V. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust this. So I know that it's over my figure. Okay. And I'm going to don't worry if it's like pixelated because once you check mark it, it's going to clear it up. Okay. Now I'm going to come over here and I'm going to select a blending mode of I believe it's overlay. But let me see what I did on my sample. Let's see. I did overlay. Okay, perfect. And now we don't want this to be at 100% um, opacity. We want to bring this down to like maybe like 35, between like 35 and 45 or something like that. Okay. Now, right now, this layer is too precisely placed. We want to just we want to distort this gobo effect a little bit so it looks like it's fitting over the face. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to edit transform and we're going to click on 
the warp selection and then we're going to come over here and we're going to Interesting, it's not giving me the option to adjust. Okay, well, normally you can change this to like, let's see, if I set that, can I go back in and more? Interesting, this is kind of highlighted. Let's go up to none. Hmm, that didn't work. Um, custom. Normally this is allows you to manipulate this a little more. So, okay, what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab these edges here and you're going to stretch them a little bit. So it kind of curves with the face, but let's try not to hide the eye like we want to see the eyes and but we do want to like curve it so that it kind of curves along the face a little bit here and then we're going to check mark it and then we're going to also come over here to edit transform warp and then we're going to do it again and this time we're going to manipulate this one here on this hand but it also is manipulating the one See if i pull this up a little bit can i bring this so it kind of curves a little bit I'm trying to curve it so it fits, fits kind of along the hand and along the face. So it's kind of curving, okay? Um, and I'm going to click on the check mark. Okay. Um, and because we have this color fill going all around it it only we only see the gobo effect where um this little area in black is so we can see that all of this is cut off that we only see the gobo effect on the face um and now let's go back and let's see if there's any other steps so it looks like that's all the steps that you need to do um now let's look at sample number nine you want to save this and now you're ready to start doing your um your doodles okay let's look at sample number nine and i'm just going to turn off these layers here and we're going to come down over here and um we're going to look we're going to zoom in really close here on the chin so we've got a little bit of like acne here what we can do is we can retouch it okay we can see here that on this image it's been retouched um, throughout the image and how we retouch that initially let me just show you let's duplicate this layer uh, we call it retouch two okay we're, i use this patch tool right here and what i did was i went over here and i actually kind of put in like what i where I wanted this to go, and I want this to go here. So what I do is I draw it in, and then I move it to where I want it to go. Oh, that's actually the opposite of what you're supposed to do. <laughs> Step backward. Select, deselect. Actually, you want to draw it around here first, and then now I remember. Yeah, now you go like this, and you kind of place. You kind of figure out, okay, where do I want it? Like, do I, okay, maybe I, you want to kind of find a value tone that's similar and that's like smooth also at the same time. There you go. And then you release and then you go select, deselect. And then we can see that that's been smoothed out a bit. You can see that compared to here. And it's a little darker, but that's okay. Uh, what you can do is go in, 
now with our cloning tool and we can kind of clean that up even a little more here. Maybe. I definitely recommend you have like a low opacity when you're using, when you're, when you're doing like skin retouching on the brush. And then you can also, if you wanted, um, so you kind of blend between these two areas. And then you can also, if you want, kind of go in with a dodging tool and just lighten that area up a little bit. Since it was a little bit lighter at the beginning, you can just kind of lighten it up a little bit so it looks a little more natural. So there we go, before and after, okay? So again, let me show you how to do that. Let's say you wanna like get rid of this right here. You kind of take your patch tool, you circle around where you want to remove it, and then you kind of figure out like what you want to fill in. Maybe you want to fill in with this. Okay, and let go, and then go over here and just, you see how that really cleaned that up, and we can see the before and the after. Okay.